Um, yeah, someone was talking about um, avoiding, you know, the miracle was that they found out, they were uh, spiritually shown that um, if they avoid potatoes, they won't get the pain in the feet. And that was the miracle. And I agree. Sometimes the miracle comes in to, by the direction to avoid a food person, place, or situation. And sometimes there's the uh, mystical disappearance of things, uh, even if you carry on eating the potatoes. Um, and there, um, there is a thing that is sometimes said in spiritual circles, the, uh, the, 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 the Holy Spirit talks in a language you can understand at the time. But I'd say it slightly differently. Um, I would say as well, uh, it's always lovely when you're doing the Course in Miracles to have the absolute miraculous happen. Like you can, you can eat any food and nothing will give you an allergy and nothing will give you a response. But sometimes um, you've not, uh, you know, your, your karma or your belief systems or the, the, the stage of spirituality at which you're at, you know, the best, the best, the miracle is that you avoid the potatoes uh, because that's where you're at in your spiritual journey. And that is the miracle. Uh, later on, it may happen that you, can, you may be able to eat potatoes and still have no effect. But that's, um, so everything has, you know, uh, depends on what level of spiritual consciousness you're at. Uh, like, um, at certain stages of spirituality, spiritual st in India, they, they call it the cities. Once you get to very advanced levels, often they see the teacher can be at two places at the same time, miraculous healings occur. Uh, so that's, that's the thing at that level of spirituality. But another level of spirituality you may get like direction to avoid a food or something. You know, it's not gonna be like the, 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 the type of stuff that happens at another level of spirituality. So, you know, it's like the Holy Spirit will give you the miracle at the level that's appropriate for where you are at your journey and for what lessons you need to learn, you know. And sometimes it's better not to get the, the big miracles to get the small miracles because they aid in your spiritual development more for where you're at in your spiritual journey. So um, definitely um, just to be open for what the type of miracle comes. Also to understand as well, sometimes um, I mean, the ego does want the pain relief, but he, sometimes we have to face things um, for a period of time which are quite unpleasant, and there are karmic reasons. Hawkins talks about this in um, his last book, I Reality, Reality and Subjectivity. So there's different ways of undoing karma, um, and uh, there are different spirit karmic laws by which you undo uh, spiritual, um, your spiritual belief systems or your spiritual karma. Um, you know, sometimes um, uh, you're only, the way you undo karma is to suffer what you've done to others and there's no easy escape out of it. So sometimes if I've like, um, let's say I, uh, I suffocated a lot of people to death in the past lifetime, it may be my karmic fate that I go through several months of not being able to breathe in this lifetime and I'm not able, and that's how I pay that karma off. I'm not gonna escape that one easily because the karmic lesson is set up for me in this lifetime that that's the way I, I will resolve it. And sometimes you may get, you may, you may do a few prayers and it's gone and sometimes not. So it just depends, there's different types of karma. Um, like Hawkins said, um, funny enough, um, brought a chill down my spine you know the divine mercy of the forgiveness of god there are some things you you do not um if you do them you do not get the forgiveness of god you have to go through the hard way blasphemy but you know um blasphemy is one of those things if you muscle test it with kinesiology it, uh, are you entitled to divine you're not entitled to divine mercy if you do blasphemy so it means you're going to have to go through a hard spell uh, some things you are entitled to divine mercy. So there are karmic laws and there's different types of karmic undoing. So sometimes when you're going through a hard patch, um, don't judge yourself. Uh, karmic law is very complicated, but you just do, you just do your best. Um, 
And uh, when you see the miracles, be grateful um, in whichever form they come, whether they're big or small. <laughs>